A 28-year-old Patia journalist remains in serious condition in a local hospital after being shot in the face in what police are now calling a road rage incident. Meanwhile, the 32-year-old suspect has since surrendered and remains in custody as of press time. Hello, everyone. I'm Adam. This is the Patia News. Today's December 15, 2023. Thanks for joining us. As for our top story, this took place on December 13th around 7.30 a.m. in which the victim, as stated, a 28-year-old Patia journalist who also works with the Patia News at Times as well as other media outlets as a freelance reporter, was shot in the face after leaving breakfast and getting into a road altercation with the suspect. The suspect, a 32-year-old Thai man known by his nickname of Peck, later turned himself in after heavy police pressure and admitted to shooting the victim in the face. However, the suspect claimed it was in self-defense, but police are a bit skeptical of this claim because, number one, the suspect also admitted he was heavily intoxicated at the time, and number two, the suspect had a shotgun with him and the victim was not armed whatsoever. Now, originally there was a lot of speculation of what caused this incident, being that the victim is a journalist in the local area, but now police believe that it was a random road raid incident. Meanwhile, the suspect remains in custody facing multiple charges, including attempted homicide. The victim remains in a local hospital and may actually and unfortunately lose eyesight in one of his eyes, although at this time doctors say that he is stable. He had previously needed blood, but thanks to generous donations, he was able to get the blood that he needed, according to doctors. Meanwhile, the father of the victim, who's also a prominent local news reporter, has called for police to give a transparent investigation of the entire situation, including reviewing CCTV and making sure what exactly happened in this particular situation, while also thanking the local community for the outpouring of support for the local reporter's injury. As always, we thank you for tuning into the Patia News. We'll continue to give you updates on this and all other stories here. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow so you can get the latest right here from Patia.